February 2019 saw me visit Holland for the first time to meet my girlfriend's family and I was amazed by just how much water there was. So when we went over again in September, I insisted on taking the rods. Noisy, noisy woman. Noisy woman, shush. Shush, shush. Morning everyone, it's 4 a.m. So there's no easy way of doing an intro at this time, but I thought I'd try and vlog the whole trip because hopefully from the intro, it looks like we have a good trip. But um, yeah, there's no easy way of saying it's 4 a.m. and it's time for us to hit the road. Both absolutely knackered, um, but we've got to drive three and a half hours over to Folkestone and then get the Euro Tunnel across. And then is it a couple hours to Nijmegen? Yeah. A couple hours to Nijmegen. And it's a big trip, seeing lots of family, We've got a family barbecue, seeing all sorts of different people, different places in Holland. We've got two different venues lined up, minimum, minimum, and uh, <laughs> one of them is a park lake and another one is a big canal network because I went to Holland the first time last year um, with my girlfriend. For those of you that haven't met her before, this is Marielle <laughs> Johanna Cornelia Scholten. <laughs> And um, oh, yeah, and uh, the first time we went over to Holland, I didn't take any fishing gear because we went to see a family, and I was amazed with just how much water there was over there. And I said, next time we go over there, I'm taking fishing gear, so I am, and I'm taking some for her cousin as well, Tice. He's going to be joining me for his first ever carp fishing session, so hopefully we get him something. But this is very much going to be a bit of a holiday vlog with some fishing in there as well. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope I catch something. No idea how this trip's going to go, other than uh, I'm going to eat well. <laughs> and I'm going to have to exhaust my very limited Dutch. Do we? <laughs> five to five, and now we're properly on the road because uh, you see probably just behind me. My dad's bakery has starred in many enough in the fishing video, and it's still how I start my early starts. So we've got sausage rolls, donuts, fresh Danish pastries. Let's go. We're nearly at the Euro Tunnel, by the way. And there we go, we are now at Mariella's parents, which is Arnhem, and uh, the weather has been horrendous the whole journey, 400, just shy of 410 miles. We left home 11 hours ago, I think, or well, we've been up about 11 hours. So, gonna get some rest, some cider, and I really need a poo. You didn't need to know that, but I'm f filling you in on all the details of this trip. Goedemorgen, hoe graag is met jou? Turn this strange Dutch music off. Today, me and my girlfriend are going to Amsterdam, so no fishing again today, I'm sure. If you just want to watch the fishing stuff, and I'll say skip to a certain point in this video, but uh, we're going to another country. I think it's um, very good to sort of get involved in the culture, uh, learn things about it, visit places, or at least that's what Marielle's told me we've got to do. Um, I'm joking, of course, very much looking forward to it. Never been to Amsterdam, so uh, that's where we're going today. But I'll have some breakfast then, hour and a half train journey into Amsterdam and back so that we can have a few drinks as well and um, visit any. Uh, slightly ridge monkey lighted illuminated districts maybe um, get some nice relaxing coffee who knows we'll see what Amsterdam has to offer but uh, drink up the best of the tea that Holland has to offer which isn't the best and uh, shoot in Amsterdam <laughs>
back from Amsterdam. I think we did 30,000 steps and I managed about six or seven Heinekens. But they do little half, little silly half bites. Anyway, that is our touristy day. Pretty much drawn to a close. Tomorrow, we're going to Germany for breakfast. Then a little bit of prep for a huge barbecue on Saturday. Then we're going to the Park Lake, which is about half an hour from here. Half an hour from here, we'll get the rods out. So if you're bored of all that vlogging stuff from Amsterdam today, don't worry, that's done. It's very, very soon, it's gonna be fishing. Well, it's now Friday afternoon. We went for breakfast in Germany this morning, because we're very, very close to the German border here. It only took about 25, 30 minutes to get there. Huge breakfast, some absolutely stuff, but it's now very early afternoon and the car is all loaded up, last few things going in and it's time for the 30 minute drive to Nijmegen we're finally going to get the rods out, been very much looking forward to this and hopefully it's not anticlimactic, hope you're enjoying this so far but hopefully things are all about to get a lot, lot better let's go So as you can see, just on a little quick walk around on the, the lake behind us and uh, there's been a few people fishing already, just spoke to some locals with my handy translator girlfriend, so you came <laughs> very handy there because uh, they didn't speak any English, I speak very limited Dutch, So, uh, but he's caught a £25 common was it this morning? 23. £23 yeah, common. They go up to about 25 They go up to about 25 uh, Good head of fish in here, clear bottom, about 5 to 6 foot deep is what I've got, he's using all the, the same, same sort of baits, spoilies, scope X squid, because I got scope squid. Um, so just about to shoot back, get the gear. I was planning on walking around with one rod, sort of bread bombing, but it doesn't seem like I haven't seen any fish mooching about. So uh, just gonna pitch up down there, looks nice, get some baits out, and that'll be me set for the night. <sighs> get excited now, get the rods. <laughs> that couldn't have gone any better. First bite was a brain, but both rods are now back out on the spots, and I couldn't have cast that left one any better. Really tight, almost under an overhanging branch over there, which is where I did get a bream straight away. Other one's just in this little bay here with some boys over. Behind me is Jordi, who told me about this place when uh, I posted on Instagram I was coming to Holland. So I'm gonna have a bit more of a chat with him, learn a bit more about the lake, places he's fished, and uh, you reckon that cast was pretty spot on for a quick bite, don't you? <laughs> Bring it on. That's not a bad fish actually. And it's in, my first Dutch carp. Way! <laughs> oh. Lovely double figure common. <laughs> well, it's taken me quite a while, but uh, Mariella was just about to leave. I had a lovely evening with her and her family, or some of the family, more of which I'm going to see tomorrow with the barbecue. And my right rod's just gone off, the one that I baited quite heavily, and it's a beautiful, pristine common, 20 pound, four ounces. So here we have my first Dutch carp, and it's a 20. Absolutely mint. Came in uh, fairly slowly to start with until it realized it hooked, probably only a couple rod lengths out, then went ballistic. You wanna come say hello to it, Pucha? Go on, come here. Go on. <laughs> He's scary. You can touch him. You want to touch him? No. Do you want to come round just next to me? What's, what's that in Dutch? Uh, stand next to me. After, after the fish. I got next to him. Mooi. Mooi carp. Dichterbij. Dichterbij, Mich. 
Take it by me. Common carp. Do you want to touch it? Yeah. Touch it. Waarom doet je dat? Aanraken. Beautiful. Aaien. Mooi? Aaien? Ja. Is het mooi? Ja, dan gaat het zippen. Nee, nee, nee. Hij blijft wel stil. Maar aaien. <laughs> Lovely. Let's get some photos. Then we'll stick it back. Go on. Smooth, isn't it? <laughs> Let's get some photos and slip it back. Ik ga hem daar. Off he goes. Ah. Oh. Man, am I happy now. Mm. This time yesterday, I was looking at titties in the red light district. <laughs> Today, I'm having even more fun catching carp. Just tying up one more bag. I'm being very optimistic because this is the sixth bag that I'm tying up. Yordi has set me a challenge of trying to catch seven carp overnight. He seems to think that's a, an achievable number, but at the rate it's going so far, I'm gonna have to be a lot longer than just the night to catch seven because I have got to be off fairly early tomorrow morning. My girlfriend's coming to pick me up because we've got, like I said, the big family get together barbecue. So I've got to have everything packed down and ready to go fairly early. But just in case it does kick off because I feel quite confident I'll have a few more bites on tying up a few more bags. Now this is the sixth one. So I'm gonna finish here. Yori's on his way back. Big thanks to him for uh, letting me know about this place because I posted on my Instagram story the other day. If you don't follow me on Instagram, a little plug here, do follow me on there. I do a lot of Instagram updates on the story and on my uh, feed when I'm not on the bank, which is quite a lot lately for this channel anyway. Um, he saw where I posted that I was coming and told me about this place. I've come here and I've caught my first Dutch carp. So I'm very, very grateful to him. So thank you very much, Jordi, for all your help and uh, look forward to seeing you in a second when you get back here again and hopefully a few more fish this evening is a that's a bite nothing nothing, nothing there don't know what happened there unfortunately whatever that was came off i didn't really see what was happening with the take it could have just been a liner that i just struck but nothing there but thankfully as i've tied up all these bags this will be out in no time. Roll on the night ahead. Here's the second bike then, much smaller than the first one, but very much welcome. Same rod again. Went off a bit like a bream take, a bit like the one that you heard on camera when I was tying up bags. This was the uh, result of the follow-up cast from that random take. And I give this one probably £10, maybe just over. But very, very much welcome. The fish have certainly come alive this evening. I'm hearing them crashing all over the place. So Rod's back out already, so I'm sure it won't be long until I get another one, hopefully. But uh, very much welcome. Happy days. Slip this one back. Morning everyone, and uh, quite a chilly night last night. It dropped off pretty cold. We had a bit of rain, so my feet got a little bit wet when I had a fish just before first light, which is in the retainer, waiting for me to show you. But uh, when the skies cleared, it dropped off pretty cold. So it was wrapped up in the sleeping bag, trying to get warm for most of the night. But uh, we did have a fish. I lost one yesterday before I went to bed as well. On the far bank, you can see there's uh, some wooden planks and poles which are in the water still, probably about a foot or so away from the bank, which fish can get in and behind. This is where the marge is flooded a, a while back from what you was telling me. So if the fish get in there, very, very unlikely you're going to get them back because they know exactly what they're doing and that's what one did yesterday. I was fighting it, it felt quite a good sized fish as well and it shot in between one of the uh, poles and cut me clean like that. So nothing I could do about it. So the next time I had a bite, as soon as I hooked it, I sort of pegged it down the bank a bit to pull it from a different angle. In hindsight, if I thought that was what was going to happen, I should have fished further down or on the other bank. But uh, that's something I learned and I'm only here for the one night so I didn't really have much time to up sticks and move. But we did get one and I've now got both rods out on the same spot because that's the one that's been produced in the margin run, rod. I've been that one off because nothing was happening. So both of these have gone back out, same rods, same bait. Everything's the same exactly the same distance. They're only about a rod length apart of that far tree. And I've got about an hour left of my session. So maybe we'll have one more, but if not, I've still got that one in the sling to get out and photograph. It's a beautiful, pristine little common. Not as big as the first one I had, but uh, all, all very welcome, of course. Let's get that one out and then that shoots on home where we've got a massive barbecue later on. And there we go, a very angry little common was the uh, second fish, no third fish sorry, I lost one in the night as I said. And that uh, fin perfect, big old gob on it as well. But uh, very welcome. No more fish unfortunately, the rods have got to come in now. They are still out so there's every chance they could go off but uh, as soon as this fish has slipped back 
they're coming in and we're shooting off. But a uh, lovely time here in Nijmegen. Let's get a few snaps. There it goes. The wrap. It's a wrap. So now the following day, and the last few clips you probably would have seen were the massive barbecue we had. Absolutely beautiful food. Really raised the bar for uh, future barbecues back home. But uh, today, another day, we've driven an hour to Biddinghausen, where her auntie lives, which is a house just behind me. And then about 100 yards that direction is the canal. So we're very, very close. I'm gonna get some stuff out now. This is when Tice, her cousin's gonna fish with me. So um, a couple of rods each for the afternoon for a few hours. And then we're going out for food this evening um, in a local town for pancakes. And then when we get back, rods back out for the evening. So uh, just a few hours now, I'm gonna get recce for the swim. I'm gonna fling the deep around, I think. Try and find out what, what's, uh, what the bottom's like and all sorts of, if there's any prominent features. And then before we go to the restaurant later on, get out quite a bit of bait to hopefully get the fish mooching about. So. Uh, that's the plan. Water went. Hopefully, thank you very much. And uh, I think we're then all set. This is where I'm getting proper excited because although I've already caught carp from here, this is very much the unknown. No idea if there's any carp in here other than what people have said that there's sort of smaller fish and things. So who knows? Could catch nothing or could catch something quite special. That's enough of me yabbering on. The rest of that needs to come out. You're going shopping. I'm going fishing. I'll just keep practicing. <laughs> I'll start getting <laughs> yeah. my rods ready. You have fun. <laughs> well, a couple of hours later, all four rods are now. That's two for Tice, two for me. Found spots for the deeper. It's fairly regimented out there. It goes from for about six foot on the far bank actually, six, seven foot down to 11 foot. So I've got one rod of each of ours on the far bank and then one rod close margin, which is about six foot again, but very clear bottom, little bit of weed in places. So um, very easy to present rigs. Probably put 10 to 20 spoms on the far spot. Same for both of us. And then hand fed just some bait into the margin spots. But uh, it's now coming up five o'clock and we're going out for food, I think for about five half five so um, we've got the rods out they've been out for probably an hour and baited up and everything it's now time to sit back and have a beer and now it's time to wind in so um all the prep work is done now it should be a lot quicker later on we've got rods clipped up ready to go so that when we get back ping the rods out crack open a few more beers and then just chill for the night we've done the leg work and hopefully some fish will come along something pretty big rolled in the middle of the canal it could have been a pike and if it's a pike it was a big one but either way there's, there's fish in the area Lovely surroundings, so close to Mario's uh, auntie that uh, we've got a lot of home comforts just behind us. But obviously the reason we're here is to catch some carp and fishing for the unknown really is quite exciting. What is also exciting is that there's still plenty of beer behind me. So next time I see you or talk to you, it'll probably be after the food, getting the rods back out for the evening.
Goedemorgen, very unproductive night on the cart front. Unfortunately, some bream moved in and I had two bream. Had another take, nothing on the end, but I'm pretty sure that was a bream as well. So I changed over to much bigger bait and I haven't had any more takes since then. But I do think that the bream moved through and cleared me up completely. There's not been any signs of carp, um, not really been any signs of anything. So uh, I had a very un well sleepless night, shall we say, quite wet and cold. The uh, mist on the canal was, although nice to see, very cold and wet as well because it was probably seven foot high, keeping me uh, nice and chilled all night. But uh, never mind, it was um, a gamble fishing here, never fished here before, and I'm sure there will be fish in here. Uh, someone messaged me earlier saying that further down that way is a good spot for the carp where they uh, are often spotted and caught so uh, hindsight is a wonderful thing but maybe next time it'll be somewhere I'll try. Rod's got to come in now I might have a little wander down there see if I find anything I have got a snide rod with me for uh, a little bit of stalking but who knows don't think it's going to happen but um, we'll see we're not quite at the end yet. So this is last gasp attempt getting a fish from the uh, canal so I've got my snide net Real. The unhooking mat is on the back of a buggy, some bread, and uh, just the bare essentials to um, go and hopefully find a fish and catch one. Now this is purely going by one message on Instagram this morning from someone that knows the area, told me an area to go. Watch out, bikes are all here. Okay. And uh, yeah, purely one message on Instagram telling me there's spots just up here past the bridge. There's a marina where he said you're almost guaranteed to spot carp and potentially catch them. So I'm going by his words. It's about a 10 minute walk and then we'll see. This is a, uh, who knows if we catch or not, but it's worth a try. Well, it looks good, but you can't get in there. So uh, there's a few little spots that I was told on Instagram, either can't get to or can't find. So uh, unfortunately a bit of an anticlimactic end to the fishing side of things, but it is the also the end of our trip. We've got about 20 minutes spare. Um, to get to the Euro Tunnel, so we really do need to shoot on now. And we've we've done the rush to the Euro Tunnel before, and we don't want to do it again. But um, it's been a wonderful time. Really enjoyed it. I'm not just saying that because she's here. It's been great seeing all your family again, and um, seeing Amsterdam, seeing different places, traveling around. Something just trips. something just topped over there. So I know there's fish in there, but uh, definitely more scope for lots more fishing when we come over to Holland again in the future. The the boat, yeah, Aranzi and Uncle have a boat which should be here next time, so we'll be doing some fishing off that next time, I'm sure. But um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. It's some a bit different, very much a holiday vlog with a bit of fishing chucked in. What? Not a nice background. Oh, I'm being told to reframe. There we are. <laughs> time to say goodbye to Holland, head back to England, because tomorrow morning I'm flying up to Czech Republic for work. So jet setting, six different countries in the space of a week. So it's a bit of a whirlwind of a couple of weeks, but. Um, enjoying it very much and hopefully you've enjoyed this as well so like the video if you did subscribe to me if you haven't already follow me on instagram and facebook all that jazz because i do a lot of stuff on there and i have been this week so uh see you again soon Ta -da. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. After seeing what Holland has to offer, you can bet I won't resist visiting the in-laws more often. Until next time, Holland. <laughs> <laughs>